Alright, hello everybody, welcome back to how to create your very own loop filter and how to get started on that. So just another disclaimer once again, this is not the way to create a loop filter, it's just a way that you could get started. I might miss something, this might not include every single thing you need or want in your loop filter but I do feel like as I'm going, it's going pretty well. So I'm also doing a playthrough for the Acolyte Lich build and I'll start uploading that later. I've been recording all of my progress. Currently, I'm just about to turn level 20. So I'm gonna record part three to my playthrough later, but I wanted to do this first. So this is pretty much part two or like a follow-up to creating your very own loot filter. So this is for if you were able to follow along in the first part and it was making sense, this is for how to really smooth some things out. So <clears throat> when I started my playthrough, because I had been wanting to play like for several hours that night, I was like, eh, my loot filter is good enough. I'm just going to start. And as I was playing, I noticed that I missed some things like, um, Catalyst items were not showing up for me. Uh, I think maybe even relics. I'm not 100% sure. Yeah, relics weren't really showing up either. I had to keep pressing the um, the X button to see all the items. Uh, another thing that I did is before I had it so that there's a level condition from like 25 or whatever, but I noticed really, really early on, I actually just didn't want to see a bunch of the items. I just kind of wanted to see the important ones. So I actually got rid of that. However, I still think totally optional for, <coughs> and I have a cough, so my apologies. Totally optional for any of you out there who want to add um, level dependencies, you know? <coughs> so. I included the rest of the items that I missed and I added one for <coughs> I really am sorry for the coughing I added one for every item slot so if I were to show you there are one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven item slots <coughs> two of them are the exact same rings and if you really want to create two specific different types of rings, I guess you could, but generally they're about the same. So I just put one. So I have 10 item slots listed on here. Helmet, one. Body armor, two. Belt, three. Boots, four. Gloves, five. Wants, six. Catalyst is seven. Relics is eight. The ring is nine and ten. So nine. And amulet. 10 unofficially 11 item slots so and then of course I just selected the affixes that I wanted for each one uh, I did just go with what's on this build <clears throat> if you want to so I might be missing certain ones that's because I don't know exactly which affixes fit on them so if you go to the item database and you click on affix shard you can probably search up, um, maybe you can search up based off of like, that. one of the reasons why I didn't do it is because I don't know of an easy way to check every single affix that applies. I know that the loot filter just kind of gives you every single affix, including ones that wouldn't actually work. A lot of these, uh, pro probably all of these, do not fit on a ring so I just went with what's on my build uh, I could also look at some rings on my other characters if I really wanted to like get really original and like come up with it myself but yeah hopefully in the future there's easier access to knowing which effect affixes fit on each item like if when you select ring and you select affixes it only shows you affixes that work for the ring you know that way um, I could probably create a loot filter completely from scratch, meaning without even looking at another person's build or a build. <clears throat> but personally, I think putting things onto a builder 
is really really helpful for this but I myself have not used the builder anyways the next thing I'm going to do after I've created in general um, so to recap I'm hiding all items from the classes that don't apply to me I'm hiding all normal and magic items and rare items even just in general for whatever reason I think yeah because there's gonna be a lot of those items like I could find rare items that would have a bunch of useless affixes on them I don't want that so I'm hiding all of the items of all types however I'm showing normal and magic items of helmet body armor and relics and you know what possibly off casts as well catalyst or offhand catalyst as well because my offhand catalyst is has one of the rare affixes that I'm searching for oh wait does it not I thought it did um okay well maybe not I thought it did. So actually, yeah, never mind. I don't need to show that. So obviously, I think another good tip is to edit your loot filter as you go. When you notice something's not popping up, like me, I I had it wasn't like this. I just had it say um to simply show catalysts of all kinds. I didn't want to figure out the rules set, I just wanted catalysts to show up on my screen. And then I think I did the same thing with relics. Um, but I actually went and figured out what affix is. Pretty much I just touched up on any like items that I forgot to include. Now the next part is now I'm going to be looking at specific ones. And this is actually a lot easier to do. You pretty much just pick for I'll just show you you add a condition and you select item type you select the type of item that you're looking for of course and you're gonna create one for every single one of them so 10 or 11 item slots right as I sh showed with um, the gear which I guess we could technically show on here you can count 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 item slots so I select a catalyst and then subtype will show up and I looked at it and I looked through each one and I selected the ones that are really important to me. Personally, I want any of the ones that come with spell critical strike chance. Those ones are really, really important to me. I don't care so much about ward per second. <clears throat> I don't care about this two to six intelligent one because it's probably going to show up anyways from my general um catalyst affixes rule down here this is for generally any catalyst that comes with the affixes that I'm looking for because that's just like really really good this is now I'm targeting the specific relics or sorry off off hands that I'm looking for that I actually even want for end game <clears throat> and then obviously if you're looking for uniques that would replace these items down the road as well so I'm recoloring all of these green so red is indicating to me that I have affixes on the proper items that I want like I have an affix on the helmet that I want awesome green is indicating for me that I have a specific helmet with like what I want you could create two sets of this you could create simply the specific items that you want but I think they're gonna show up anyways so I honestly think you should also include an affix with it and that these affixes are pretty much <coughs> sorry going to include these um, another way to speed up this process I think is therefore if we use these ones by just simply copying and pasting them and I'll show you what I mean so rather than creating a whole set of catalysts I could copy this catalyst, slide it up here, 
change the color to green and change the subtype to the exact ones that I want. And now I don't need this one. See? It pretty much just sped up the process of me having to search for affixes. And so you can pretty much copy all of these previous ones. And you also don't have to have two sets of the, the highlighting. I just like it. I personally don't have very good luck with RNG. So for me, finding even one affix is really good. And then for me, finding at least two affixes deserves an emphasis. Some people, it might be more like you, need, you want to have at least three, you know, or something. That's really cool for for anyone out there that it's like that. But for me, just one or two affixes is enough and usually I can fill in the rest if there's enough slots open. So I am just gonna go ahead and finish these. Um, I'm just gonna do this on screen actually. And I don't need all of these. I was gonna one by one, like go to each thing and then like start reading through. Um, however, Now that I'm realizing what I'm doing here, I can just copy each one of these and I'll put them up here. If I had some good video editing, I would just speed through this part that I'm doing. And I just want to do at least a few examples so that people watching kind of know how to do this. Oops. Copy, click and drag, bring it up here. So obviously if I prepped this ahead of time, which maybe on my next character I'll remember to do this, this is how it's turning out that I am wanting to do my loop filter. So others of you, you might have already learned enough and you just kind of want to self-explore and you're going to create it based off of your own rules, your own way of doing things. Obviously, get creative. There's no one specific way to create a loot filter. But again, for those of you who really just want to be able to follow along and like know that you created your very own, but know that you didn't really miss anything, or at least you got a lot of things because maybe on my guide I've missed something. I think this is really good. I think this is better than no loot filter, personally. Um, so maybe I don't have the best loot filter in the world or whatever, but I don't think there's such a thing. I think everyone's loot filters are very specific to them, you know? So those are my thoughts. All right, I should have 10 now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And notice how I fit them right between these two different green ones. So it was really easy for me to keep track every time I would click and drag them in between the green items that I already set up. So that's a way you could help yourself with this process if you did what I did and you didn't prep earlier to be like really efficient with getting this quicker or whatever. So let's go ahead and start with the wand next because I, there's gonna be a lot less wands. So we are gonna do green again. I'm just gonna update it, okay. And we're gonna look at the subtypes. So again, most of these don't call out to me. I know that this one really does. Now there's gotta be some that do call out to me over time. This one definitely doesn't, so I don't care about that one. Um, 20 to 30 mana could be good. I honestly am fine with mana, personally. Ward retention. Health regeneration sounds kind of interesting to me. I like the high adaptive spell damage. I think chance to shock on spell hit sounds really good too. I don't care about poison on this particular build. And at this point, I would replace the shock with this one just because it's more spell damage. And at that point, lots of mana does not hurt. Um, yeah. 
And then maybe I'll also select the ivory wand. Since the ivory wand has a lot more of the adaptive spell damage than all the previous items. Birch wand is pretty good too. I don't know if I really need to show all of them. I think I will for now. And that's another thing. I think you can edit your loot filter as you go. If you're like done seeing birch wands, you can come back in here and and deselect, oops, deselect birch wands, you know? So for now, I don't really need any of these other wands. I have an archive wand, just a random wand. Because again, these wands are gonna show up with the red filter on them already. So some of you might not even care to have this one green and you just want it for like the very specific wand you're looking for or just a, a few specific types. But yeah, for me, I think I'm going to try this for now. And once I've done all of these, I'm going to copy them and, and add like a emphasize on having at least two affixes. By the way, if it only shows you two, it's because you only have prefixes or only have suffixes listed as your options. I don't care so much about the suffixes because they're like, for a weapon, it's usually like chance to shock, chance to chill. Personally, I honestly don't care which ones of those I end up with. For my weapon, I mostly just care about the prefixes. So it just depends on you and what you're looking for. Um, next, I'll look at my amulets. So, cast speed is definitely one that I'm looking for. Critical strike chance is another one. 35% is really, really good. These resistances sound really good as well. If I ever catch myself needing more resistance. This person, I'm looking at the build, they should stick with the brass amulet. I think that makes a lot of sense with all the cast speed. But I might end up casting really, really fast without the Brass Amulet down the road. Who knows? Um, bone Amulets are really good. These are just for if I don't end up finding certain resistances. Fire and Lightning Resistance sounds really good. I don't want this because the Spell Lightning Damage part is useless. So yeah, I think these are all the ones that I'm willing to see as a specific amulet that I actually want. And obviously this is dependent on your build, so I'm just going off of what I like. I think movement speed is good. I think critical strike chance is really good. I personally think the vitality is good. And I think these resistances are also really good. These are all rings that I'm willing to see as a special ring. And I might just do one more. So the relics. There's acolyte relics only. I'm going to start there. I don't care about ward retention. Defiled bones I actually think is really, really good. Just all that spell damage. Curse damage I think is really good. Because I think that's talking about bone curse. And personally I think bone curse does a lot of damage. This one's really good. Increased necrotic damage. And that's all of those. So if you want separate ones, you can. But I'm going to look at these ones too. Yeah, I don't need any of those. <laughs> yeah. So these are pretty much the only relics that I'm interested in. Three relics. Wow. All the other ones, I don't care so much about. Yeah. So that's cool. Maybe the poison resist if I'm running low on poison resist, but that's like a, a high level item. I don't really need to worry about that right now. And yeah, I think, I think you all get the gist. So I guess there are some unique items that they show. I don't think they show all unique items on the loot filter. I might have to ask one of the, the mods about that. Um, but yeah. Chronic resistance sounds pretty good. 
cast speed sounds amazing. I think endurance is really, really good. And I think absolutely in critical, increased critical strike chance is something that I really, really want. That's probably what I want at the end. Let's see. This person went with engraved gloves, the endurance. So it might just be that. I'll just see how I feel when I get there and I'm going to edit all of this as I go. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And once I've selected all of these as green, copied each one, emphasized and put select at least two of an affix. Yeah. That will basically be my complete loop filter. And I think the last thing would be idols, which I don't really even want to try and figure out idols right now. Uh, so yeah, this is my second part still ended up being 20 minutes, but I hope this was a good video if anyone is following along to any of this at any point in the future and Yeah, I'll talk to you all later if you are interested in watching playthroughs. I'm gonna be doing playthroughs now, so Yeah, I hope you enjoy those as well. All right, take care